Hello and welcome back to the cove with more EU4 Angular File Achievement. Alright, so we finished off the last episode relatively strong. We are the birthplace of global trade, which is pretty good. And uh, we were going to think about going to war with Venice. However, I did notice that we did a couple of things wrong. So, uh, apart from the fact that we'll uh, come back to Venice later, as it's not exactly where we really want to go, we're going to quickly go ahead and uh, check out some of our state edicts. We're going to go ahead and uh, quickly switch some things over to the advancement effort. If we're going to be the uh, birthplace of an institution, I think it's best that we get it as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, get all that. Now, I believe technology is... Hang on a second. Yeah, uh, about nine years away, but we do want to give the institution as uh, much of a helping hand as possible, just so we're not paying a premium for things. After all, the next level of Depot Tech will give us a trade depot, which will help us make a fair bit of money, and uh, some extra military tech. Oh, well, that just never goes astray. So, with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a couple of advancement edicts. It's not going to be absolutely uh, everywhere, but I do think uh, we have plenty of money to spend, so we may as well uh, see what we can do. I think what we'll do is uh, go for the first couple of uh, little areas, and then... Honestly, I don't think I care too much about over here. Right, but you know what, we're going to do it anyway. As long as we have this main section of the English Channel... Uh, that'll help advance things through nice and quickly, and then maybe... What do we do? You know what? We'll go for this part as well. Go for the advancement effort. That way, once we do get it here, it'll help spread to the uh, little parts of Ireland and uh, up towards Scotland through a couple of these sea tiles as well. So uh, that's what we'll run with for now. It's uh, probably not necessary, but it is still good to have. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. We also got ourselves another mission finished, which I did completely forget. Apparently, we have discovered uh, India, which is rather nice. So let's go ahead and take that. That's 100 Diplo power and uh, an extra bit of Navy tradition. And we've also got the colonized to Spice Islands. So this will give us a permanent claim down whereabouts. In uh, the... Well, all there, which is uh, fairly solid. So let's go ahead and take that. Uh, so that now means we're going to have... Oh, what do we need to do next? Uh, conquer Bengal. So that should be... Uh, let's see. Not 100% sure. Uh, Bengal, wait a second. No, that's in uh, up over here, is it not? I feel like Bengal should be in uh, this kind of a region. Hmm. Well, either way, it looks like uh, it's somewhere around. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, I thought Bengal was... Oh, there they are. Yeah, but either way, uh, we will come back to that. We will still be happy to take our uh, colonist over here. Make sure we have a beachhead so we can uh, take out a fair bit more. All of these little uh, nations should be fairly easy to uh, bring into the fold. And uh, it gives us a little bit of uh, extra avenues to expand. So... Yeah, those claims will do very nicely and uh, also allow us to tick up a little bit of war... Uh, what is it? Aggressive expansion against these people and uh, let that tick down while we uh, take on multiple fronts. So, speaking of multiple fronts, we also have to deal with the uh, New World. Now, one thing I did sort of forget when we uh, ended the last episode, we're sitting on 35% overextension, which is not exactly ideal. So what we're going to do is, uh, it looks like we've finished off the 13 colonies here, but we do need to go ahead and take some of this land around there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to war with uh, these fellows and then the next. We're going to start coring up a couple of provinces and uh, then see what we can do from there. So what we're going to start with is we wish to attack first. Honestly, I think we go for these guys. Uh, we can work our way around, secure whatever we can get a hold of, and then we'll finish off these guys in the meantime. Because, if we check out these provinces, it seems like both of them have cores, and so we're not going to be able to core it while we uh, occupy it, uh, if we're at war with the other one, because uh, you cannot call what your enemies in war have claims to. So, we're going to go with the big guy first, uh, we're going to go ahead and holy war him, and then we'll follow up with the other. 
start coring all that and then all of this will be handed off to the appropriate peoples so let's go ahead and confirm yet another war and uh see what we can do there so first of all you guys let's move on up uh we will consolidate where we can uh, we should also probably go ahead and yeah we'll bring you over there and we do have a fair bit of power so i think we might hire another general however before i forget oh no it looks like uh we have now explored the rest of australia so we don't have to worry about them anymore Ooh, well then in uh that case why are you not attacking them you know what we'll uh sort that out for you we'll get that done and uh, then I guess if we don't need the Explorer, we might as well just pick up a regular General. So let's go ahead and see what we can hire. Oh, a uh, 4132. That's actually pretty good. So you know what? We'll chuck you over there instead. That'll be fine. Uh, our, our colonies should be more than happy to attack for us. Uh, they should start sieging things down fairly quickly. It looks like that British West Indies should be able to tag through... They need to go through our land? No, they need to go through theirs. So uh, I guess that's not the best, but it'll be what it'll be. All right, let's go ahead and uh, send our explorer to finish off the last of his missions. Let's go for ah, the North East Pacific Coast. All right, we'll get that done. Then we'll upgrade your ships and we'll see about that circumnavigation. It is getting uh, closer towards that time of things. So uh, that's what we'll go with. All right, rebels, that's fine. We uh, trusted that our armies could handle such a small nuisance. Let's bring you over here and you over there. All right, Australia has occupied things, that's fine. I think that was just from rebels anyway, so that's not a big deal. And uh, yeah, we're going to, oh wow, uh, looks like, who are we at war with? Yes, these smaller groups are not really much of a hassle at all. Yeah, it's just this uh, main chunk here. Alright, well, we will get that in uh, the near future anyway, so no real concern. Especially when we consider the fact that they are at tech level 9 for their military, which is uh, more than just a little uh, unimportant. Oh, look at these guys. Uh, a revolt for us. Whereabouts are you guys? Aha. Uh -huh. Catholic Zealots. Alright, well, that's for uh, them to deal with, not us. Let's uh, split up some of our armies and uh, get this carpet sieging going. I will try and stay fairly together. They do have a decent amount of troops, and so if we're too thin, they will still be able to beat us. It's just not going to be as... Uh, yeah, if we're paying some attention, we should be relatively fine. Alright, so we're going to occupy all of those. Let's go ahead and bring you up to the next... Right, to the next location. There we go. And you guys, let's move up. In fact, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, take the mountains. If we can... You can see that would be rather good. Alright, uh, what have we got here? Holland is going to war. That's fine. Conversions are doing well. It uh, looks like they lose aggressiveness in one of our colonies. That'll be perfectly fine by me. I will never complain. And, oh darn it, Sweden beat us to the first circumnavigation. You absolute ratbags. Well, that's my fault. Should have upgraded our ships and gone for it first. Ah, uh, well, I guess we can't have all of the prestige in this alternate history. Oh well. Alright, let's bring you guys up over here. Just make sure that if we are to be attacked, we can defend appropriately. Uh, but I'm not too concerned. Uh, all of the rest of our uh, colonies are coming on in. So this should be a very quick work. In fact, you know what? I can't even be bothered. Let's go ahead and barrage. There we go. Bring that up to a 21% chance. That'll be nice. Uh, 1 in 5 is not too bad. And uh, I think that's... Probably going to be about all for now. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, all right. uh, noble families feud. Okay, so uh, rebels, autonomy, or diplo power. Honestly, I think we're going to go with the autonomy. That'll tick down. I don't really care to deal with this at the moment. So uh, that's what will let happen. Alright, so uh, yeah, that seems like the majority. 
majority of uh, things sort of settled. We should uh, definitely try and explore as much of this uh, hidden land as possible. Uh, the more we can do that, the better. We should also uh, see about maybe even getting ourselves a uh, Canada as well. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Whoops, and uh, we're stuck on pause. All right, and it looks like that siege is ours. Fantastic. So, uh, if we were to start piecing out, what kind of land could we take? First of all, we'll take uh, everything we can get our paws on. We're going to uh, cut off them from the rest of things, open up a few more options. It looks like this is going to be a very, very uh, deep war for us. Yeah, so that would be a 100% peace deal. In fact, I think we'd just settle for this. Uh, that'll be fine. Maybe if we piece out some of the uh, smaller members, we might be able to sneak out just a fraction more, a uh, fraction more band. Uh, but we'll see how we go. All right, looks like we need some advisors as well. And I think if I check, yeah, we're pretty good on the religious front, so we might even get rid of this missionary strength fellow. Let's go ahead and see. You know what? Diplo Rep's going to help us annex France a little bit faster. Let's pick him up. That seems good. And then instead of missionary strength, let's go with some... Uh, what do we want? We'll go for a little bit of prestige, but I reckon we go with the production efficiency. A little bit of money never hurt us, so we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, National Manpower Modifier. We have... Yeah, we're at maximum, so let's see. Anyone better? Discipline's not bad, land maintenance will save us some cash, but we can upgrade him. So you know what? We're going to go for the discipline. That'll be what we go for. And uh, yeah, we don't need any more than a level 1 advisor at this stage. But you know what? For our Diplo power, we probably should promote him. That would be uh, worth it to us. Alright, all of that's going well. Let's move up into the next section. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, explore as much of the land as we can. I don't really care about the uh, about the occupations too much. It looks like a native uprising is not an issue because we have troops in the area. That's what we wanted. And uh, I think that's about everybody. Anyone else getting occupied? No, not at this stage, but uh, I'm sure it'll uh, happen. Okay, so we could try and piece out these guys. Move for peace. We have 99% war score. Okay, can we take your land? No, we cannot. Uh, well, then I guess we'll take all of your money, because you don't deserve that. You can give us... Yeah, lose your alliances. We'll just farm some prestige, because we have nothing better to do than to... Uh, basically force them to do as we wish. Uh, annex the migratory tribe. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that would get them out of the game. That's not bad. And uh, give up claims? No. You know what? That'll do fine. That'll cost us nothing. Let's go ahead and uh, set that demand. Alright, so that's you sorted. So we have lost a little bit of stuff, but we did gain that territory. That's ideal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think you guys are next. Yeah, I can't see anyone else on the... Uh... Oh, there we are. All the way at the very, very top. Alright, well that's going to be a little bit of fun. I am sure that's going to take us a little bit of time to uh, explore everything. Uh, but I'm not too concerned. All of our uh, all of our friends are doing the hard work for us. We're just exploring what we can, uh, making the most of things. Uh, let's see, military access from Bar. Sure, we'll accept that they are someone we're trying to improve our relationships with. And then Navy mission cancelled, and there is no more. It looks like all things are sorted in that regard. Ah man, we should have just gone a little bit quicker, and we could have happily had the. Uh, we had that circumnavigation. Oh well. Uh, let's go one over here, two, three, and four. I think that should be fine. More conversions are happening. That's always good to see. Uh, 
demands a seat in parliament, sure you can have that, I really do not care. As long as you're uh, doing what we need, that's all that matters. And uh, I think that's about everything. Yeah, it's just a matter of waiting for occupations to turn our way. Looks like uh, Castile is, uh, has brought their men around, which is very nice to see. Uh, you know, at this rate, we could almost just go ahead and uh, declare a war on these guys too. Although it looks like uh, the Chickasaw Federation still had a few of their troops, and it looks like they're trying to reconquer a bit of land. Yeah, maybe we should have. Oh, well, uh, peace offer from Arapano? Uh, yeah, let's see. What about you? What can we get? Uh, annex Migratory Tribe? We can do this. Makes it a little bit easier. And I think we go all of your money. There we go. Not quite what you're after, but I will happily take such a thing. Set a demand. One or less war participant. And who is left? Uh, you've got no war score against you, and neither do you. Okay, well, this is going to be uh, a very easy war, it does appear to be. Alright, let's go up over there. You guys, can you... No, you can't explore any of that. Alright, well, then maybe I guess that... Uh... Okay, let's just uh, do that over again. Let's go one. Yeah, maybe we should have gone for that explorer. Hero was thinking that this was all uh, territory to them, so, uh, but I guess I was wrong, so it would have been better. Alright, local settler increase, or lose 10 admin. That's a penal colony. Uh, how are we doing? Honestly, unrest isn't really going to make a big deal to us. Yeah, let's just go with the global settler increase. That'll be fine. That'll uh, help speed things up just a fraction. Shouldn't have to worry about any uh, rebellions. That'll be all good. I will also grab one of these. Yeah, an extra couple of uh, galleys. Let's bring them all together. Just so when we do get around to fighting Venice, we're not going to forget. Right, and uh, yeah, back to North America. All right. Happily take all of those. And I feel like that's probably going to be about it. Uh, any occupations? We do have a couple. Uh, Portugal is going to war with people. I don't care about them. Uh, what have we got here? Gain three mercantilism and loyalty or gain diplo power. Huh. Well, uh, the burgers seem to be fairly happy. I'm not too concerned about that. I think we'll just go with the... Three mercantilism is really nice though. You know what? We'll impose the tariff. We can always afford to decrease them at a later date if we so desire. Let's also peace out these guys. Uh, let's go annex their tribe. We'll take all of their money. Okay, it looks like we'll take most of their money. Alright, well, you know what? That'll do. I really don't mind. Uh, that's not going to be a uh, huge concern. And then, who else have we got? We have one more. They're not yet sieged down. Right, well, that'll be fine. I'm sure the others will make their way there in uh, a short amount of time. Let's get everybody else and uh, we'll finish the occupations. And uh, that should be pretty good. So then we're going to go ahead and turn our attention over here. That'll be fine. Let's go. Ooh, what have we got? Invest in new technology, military, physics, innovativeness. Yeah, we could afford such a thing. More innovativeness wouldn't be a terrible thing. We're not really using our military power for too much. Yeah, we are paying for war taxes, and uh, I know that some people would rather put that into development, but I don't think it really matters. Um, I think I'd prefer to have the money that we can invest back into our economy for now. Yeah, so I think with that... Uh, that's going to be as much land as we can take. And if there's anything that we've missed, we'll just let our, uh, our smaller nations handle that. Yeah, small colonial nations. So now that we've got that sorted, let's go ahead and declare ourselves another holy war. That'll be fine. We'll attack a couple more people. It's not a big problem to me. 
This way we can avoid all of the hassles of having black flagged our men and our other uh, colonial members. All right, and we'll start sieging them down too, so we can piece out both of them in fairly rapid succession. Also gives us a few more uh, peace treaties, so they'll be less able to form a coalition. Not that I particularly care. We can beat these guys without all of our friends, so uh, there's absolutely no hope for them whatsoever. All right, we can embrace an institution as well, but yeah, that's uh, not bad. An extra merchant would be nice, but I think for now we'll let the uh, price dip down just a bit. Uh, we should be all good for now. Alright, let's uh, just keep on occupying. Let's just pause and uh, get that sorted, and then the other three. One, two, and three. Yeah, this is going to be an exceptionally quick war. There is very little for them. Alright, so 99%, they're going to want to peace out very shortly. There's no more land that we could acquire, so I suppose... Uh... Hmm. question is, can we... Can we take some of this land? I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like this is going to be another colonial nation that we're not going to quite be able to do our hand off. Although, we can call these, so maybe that is less problematic in the long run. Yeah, let's go ahead and go there, and... Okay, we can't make it a course, so we can't take it, so I guess the rest will be fine. Uh, yeah, that'll have to do. I'm content with that. That seems reasonable. Uh, let's see, anything else that we want? No, not really. And yeah, it looks like a lot of the New World is uh, going to be very mad at us. But again, they're just not going to have the strength. And if we can uh, do a couple of wars all in rapid succession, there's going to be no one eligible to uh, join on in. So that's going to be very good. Alright, let's bring you over here, you over there. I think that's about everywhere and everything. No, there is an extra... Peace offer from them. Hang on a second. What's your peace offer? Let's uh, decline that for a second. Uh, we can annex them. That would be a new one for Canada. Um, hmm. You know what? They'll probably just break free. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but you know what? We may as well try and take it. Who knows? Maybe that'll... Uh, yeah, however it goes, I don't, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. So we'll just set that demand. That'll be fine. And uh, for the rest, we will just take the power. And now let's also see what we can uh, super peace for from these guys. All right, so so far, we can get all of our way down to the ocean. That is nice. Take the rest of this, that, and the other. And we're basically going to be... Uh, Making everything. Yeah, there's very little that they can uh, withstand. Okay, so you know what? Let's maybe piece out some of these smaller members first. Uh, who do we have war score against? Not you. Nor you. Okay, so maybe we just uh, give it a minute and uh, we let our colonial nations teach them down. I'm not really too concerned. Uh, yeah, that'll also be useful. Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. Let's just uh, go ahead and loot what we can. Nothing wrong with a little bit of loot taking. Uh, especially when that gives us extra freebies. Oh, we do have an extra military uh, leader space. So I think we're going to go ahead and pick up... Oh, wait a second. We're going to go ahead and uh, pick up an explorer. I think that seems wise. Uh, let's go... Oh, sorry. A conquistador. That's what we wanted. Uh, 2021. Honestly, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and uh, search for the seven cities. I don't think uh, we really need you as uh, part of our army over here at the moment. We'll be fine. And it looks like... Oh, two mil any military leaders. Ah. 
Oh dear, we must have lost an admiral. Oh well. Uh, not a concern. Let's go. No, let's peace out these guys. Uh, there we go. We don't have to worry about them taking back more land from us. That'll work out fine. Alright, let's sue you for peace about now. There we go. And then... What do we have next? Alright, we need to wait a couple of days. Fair enough. Uh, a little bit of corruption from the overextension, but I'm not too concerned. It should be fairly easily sorted. Uh, most of this is going to get handed off anyway. Uh, what did I just... Did we lose our consort? I think we lost our consort. Ah, uh, that's a pity, but oh well. It's no major big deal. Let's go. Uh, what do we do? We should probably get rid of one of our leaders. Let's get rid of the... Hmm. Maybe we get rid of him? I don't mind the two siege, but yeah, you know what? It's unnecessary. We'll get rid of him. Uh, let's see. Can still invest in technology early. It's not going to be long until this comes down a fair chunk, so uh, I think we wait for that for a second. Uh, trading in fish is nice. Uh, global tariffs up because of the slaves. Alright, some of these extra people are trying to bail out of the war. That is what we're after. Let's go for you. Uh, let's hand you over to the 13 colonies. We'll also take all of your money, and... Is there anything else we can do? Huh. Uh, let's clear the offer and say, annex the migratory tribe. And then, can we take the land as well? It says we can't for whatever given reason. Huh. Alright, well, honestly, I think that should still be fine. We'll go for that. Uh, we'll drop down the cash. I don't care about that. Alright, so that'll get taken. Yeah, and that'll be handed off. That is all A-OK -okay to me. Let's go. Uh, we're getting dangerous with course and power. Okay, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of our military power. Let's go. Our development. Spend a couple of... Uh, Bits and bobs. Uh, we'll go. Let's see. There we are. Do some of you. There we are. That should uh, keep things in check for now. And uh, I think that should be pretty good for now. Bohemia is still uh, dealing with religious stuff. Not a concern. Uh, I don't know who they are. Whereabouts are you guys? Oh, you're up there. Okay. Uh, let's sue for peace. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't uh, do too much there. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll pillage their capital. We may as well take a little bit of extra development in our capital. Uh, we may as well pretty much just take that and run, I guess. Uh, we have no diplomats to send. That'll be fine. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that so we can go back to war with them at some point soon. And uh, annex them for one of our other friends. And then... I think we're about done. Yeah, that's a 100% peace deal. We need... Hmm. Oh, we can peace out you guys. So you know what? That's not the, that's not the worst. In fact, uh... Yeah, we'll just uh, give that a month. We'll uh, piece them out. It looks like they have separatist sentiment in a few places. I guess we'll have to uh, deal with that as that goes. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's uh, not too bad. So, let's go ahead and see. Uh, colony and self-sustaining. Alright, we'll do that in a second. Uh, let's go sue for peace. Can we annex you? Yes, we can. Uh, we'll take all of your money as well. There we go. That's fine. Fine and okie dokie. Uh, let's go to oh, Royal Marriage with Bar. Sure, let's go ahead and accept. Let's uh, go to... Alright, so we've finished up over here. Anywhere else that we can take? I dare say over here is going to be worth just a little bit, so we'll give it a day. Yep, there we go. 
uh, send you here, let's send you over there. Again, the more land that we possess in this area, the better. We're also at 200 church power, which is uh, not ideal. Let's go for mercantilism and money. And you know what? Mercantilism and money. We'll just do that twice over. That'll be fine. Now we can uh, invest that back into our economy, which would be very good. Uh, so the question is, no, we're not going to do that just yet. What buildings do we wish to build? Uh... Courthouses, universities. Let's check manufactories first. That's always a good first port of call. Let's also go ahead and see about uh, maybe some training fields for some extra manpower, but I don't really need the manpower, do we? Uh, workshops are fairly inconsequential. Oh, churches. They will do nicely. And then about great projects yeah uh, what do we got as far as great projects we could go to level two so that would be stability cost tolerance of heretics and heathens and then eventually work our way towards a, a more missionary strength that's not terrible uh, we could also go tower of london for yearly prestige and arm you know what that seems good enough let's uh send a couple of ducats of that away that'll do for now and then uh, we should just quickly piece out of this war, more or less. Uh, rebels have crossed the border. I don't really care about that, I don't think. Uh, native uprisings, again, not a problem. I can still invest in technology for extra innovativeness, which I do think we will take. Um, it's just going to be a matter of figuring out uh, when that would be the best. Uh, let's go up here, and then you two can go there and there. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everybody. It looks like we have some separatist sentiment. What's going on? Have we got that much overextension that we're getting? Holy moly. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, that's a... I, I can't believe that didn't click when I saw that. Yeah, that's from having way too much overextension, which we need to manage. But unfortunately, we cannot pour everything right about now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not ideal. So, what we need to do is, uh, we need to start coring up straight away. We're going to go over here. Uh, we need to get that done ASAP. Uh, let's go over there. Make you a call. And you a call. Unfortunately, I don't think we can, oh, we can access a couple. That's not the worst. Um... And then, you know what, let's peace out of this war. I did not realize we were in such trouble. Uh, let's just go all of that. We'll take all of these. Uh, honestly, that's further out. I think we'll take this instead. No? All right, well, that'll do. I uh, don't think we care about the rest. Let's go for maybe, no? Can't revoke anything else. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and set that demand. All right, that'll be fine, and now we can also piece out, sorry, we can start pouring. What do you have? We have one over here. Let's, let's sort by cost. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Two, three, four, and five. That should be enough for a colonial nation. Uh, the rest of these... I don't know if we necessarily need to. Uh, yeah, oh my goodness. I cannot believe that we have so much overextension. I uh, yeah, certainly goofed on that front. Definitely should not have uh, clicked that separatist sentiment. Uh, they There's a different thing in-game where they won't give you more of the same if you already uh, have it. And it'll tick away after three months. So uh, it's always best to let that stick around. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some revolts, unfortunately. Luckily, they're over in France. That'll be fine. They can handle those nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and go for... sixty-five. Yeah, we'll pick up the tech at the beginning of the new year. I think we'll have... 100. Yeah, we should be fine for now. We'll make it through to the end of the year without needing to spend too much more. We'll also then, uh, if we're going to do that, pay for the uh, institution, I dare say. Uh, let's see. Encroachment of the nobility in Essex. Autonomy. They gain land. Or... 
I don't really feel like losing the loyalty right about now. Uh, you know what? Right, we have some rebel armies, so we can't go ahead and seize the land. Alright, uh, let's figure out that first. That was a bad mistake on my end. Are you down in... No, you're not on the south of Africa. Where are, you? Where are the rebels? Uh, that's 13 colonies. No, you're not over here. Hang on a second. We've got to figure this out just for a second. Not seeing any red blips showing that we have rebels. Oh, no. There it is. Those are the rebels. All right. Looks like they're the ones. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's quickly crush them. Uh, we'll go with uh, Let It Slide if we cannot get there in time, but hopefully we can. And uh, then we'll uh, seize land, and then we'll go for the second option. Essex? Actually, you know what? No, never mind. We're just going to go with uh, Local Autonomy. Let It Slide. Uh, saved by a princess. That is awesome. Let's go and lose money and gain deploy power. That'll be fine. Our money's not particularly an object. Yeah, separatism is not ideal. We do need to quash that as uh, quickly as we can. Uh, War on Tortuga. Yes, you guys should go ahead and do that. That is uh, very good for us. Uh, 4,000 against you guys. I think we should probably throw a general on there. Let's go. Uh, let's see. What have you got? Two infantry, single cavalry. Ugh. Um, let's go with two, three, four. Yeah, I suppose that's gonna be uh, as much as we could ask for. Balance out a little bit. Uh, not exactly ideal, but uh, it's gonna have to do. Oh, and this episode is running long. That is not what I wanted. Quickly reinforce. Fantastic. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Quickly. Uh, See if we can scoot through to the end of the year before I forget about anything else. That's what we're after. Conversion's successful. It's probably going to agitate a few more people, but it should also be a little bit better. Uh, ill news. Our conquistador is dead. Whoopsie daisies. That's no good. Attacked by natives. That is not good. Uh, how terrible. Looks like we're going to lose all of that. Yeah, that'll, that'll just have to be what it is. Uh, and let's go. Come on. Take the land. Alright, we're definitely going to have a little bit of trouble here. Let's go. Uh, how much maneuver have you got? Four maneuver? That'll be fine. We'll bring you down here. Uh, we'll see if we can figure this out, but we're going to be taking a little bit of... Uh, yeah going to take maybe a uh, year or so until we can get those cores and hand this off to somebody else. Unfortunately, all of this extra over... Uh, sorry, uh, not overextension. The, um... What's the jolly word? Oh, I'm going to have to deal with a lot of this. Uh, let's go... But you know what? Yeah, rebel suppression is what we're after. We're going to need you to be doing a lot of this. Uh, we're going to have to take all of that. Hopefully we can still core up, core up most of our land without too much hassle. Uh, but this is going to be a little bit of a pickle, it seems. Yeah. Alright, we'll uh, close that. You'll do that. And I suppose we're probably just going to have to come back with this on the next one. We're not going to get to seize land while we have all these rebels. That's going to take a little bit of time. These cores are still going to take two years. Oh, good grief. Alright, well, I think that's going to be what it is for today. We are already way too long at the moment. Uh, national unrest as well. Of course, that's the perfect time to find out that we're cruel. Uh, you know what? Do we turf out? Do we turf Adolphus? You know what? That's stuff we're going to have to figure out in the next one. So, if you do want to see more of this uh, very turned chaotic run, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Co. This is The Leviathan, signing out.